So at the time of making this video, there are a ton of rumors going around with the Miami Heat right now. Rumors as far as pretty much Jimmy Butler being traded are definitely hanging out there right now. Of course, Pat Riley just calling out Miami Heat players like Tyler Hero for some reason, left, right, and center. Again, there's a ton going on right now with the Miami Heat. But one thing that stays common is they're a great drafting team. And in the 2024 NBA draft at the time making this video, they do have the 14th overall pick. Again, if you're wondering why I didn't select a certain player with this pick who you guys might, of course, like, just please know that I do have another video uh, where you guys can go and check out where I have all the other teams drafting all of these different type of players. So if you're wondering why I didn't take a guy, it might be because he went to a different team with a higher pick. But yeah, go and check that out. Links for that in the description down below. But I guess without further ado, here's who I think the Miami Heat should select with the 15th overall pick in the 2024 NBA draft. With the 15th overall pick, we do have the Miami Heat, who have, of course found themselves in a real interesting situation. This will be one of the highest picks they've had in recent time and highest pick, I believe, since Tyler Hero. And again, I kind of just decided to go not only best available, but what I think might be a positional need for them. And that actually happens to be Isaiah Collier, who is a six foot four point guard slash shooting guard. A lot of drafts actually have him ranked 11 through 13. I've actually got him sliding down here to 15, which again, Miami like to take a lot of those steel type of players. So this one definitely suits it. Again, Isaiah Collier is one of the best guards in this draft. As being said, he's one of the best athletes in the whole entire class. He's not only strong, he's extremely fast and has almost jumped out of his gym shoes. He's a good ball handler, very crafty, very shifty player, and has the physical tools uh, to give him a clear advantage over almost anyone who tries to guard him. Great finisher. He's great. He's got great court vision, making him a really decent playmaker as well. He's a good scorer in transition, has a really solid mid-range jump shot, and he can also create space for himself. Again, there are a couple of downsides. Even though he can be a great playmaker and does have court vision, he has the unfortunate knack to make a turnover when you really don't want him to. He can be inconsistent on his passes at time. Like again, as I said, great playmaker for the most part, but if you're going to catch him in a bad game where he's turned it over once or twice, that's unfortunately probably going to continue. And it's one of the big things he's going to have to of course, improve on in the NBA. He's also not exactly the greatest three-point shooter out there, which for the way he plays, I don't necessarily know if you extremely have to be. There have been players, um, you know, that have been taken in his position before later in the draft who are just into score and are being told to develop their jump shot later. Again, the only, I think, major concern that would stop the Miami Heat from, of course, drafting him here is his defense just has not been good really at all. Again, this dude is still a six foot four guard though, who I think will definitely be a good defender over time. Again, having that, the athletic ability that he does, the size and the height that he also has, you would think he is going to be pretty comfortable over time guarding the point guard positions in the NBA. But with how he plays, he might have to play some shooting guard. And we of course know defending a shooting guard at times can be a lot more difficult than defending a point guard because there are some shooting guards in the NBA now who are legitimately six foot seven, six foot eight tall. So there, there's a lot that has to go into obviously guarding the shooting guard position as well. Now again, where the Miami Heat do currently sit, we really don't know who they're going to be, I think going, going further forward with in the future. There's been some rumors at the time making this video that they're going to trade Jimmy Butler. I don't think that's going to happen, but apparently Jimmy Butler has been causing some issues and Pat Riley's even had to call him out. We know that they also wanted to potentially bring in someone to fit more of the young core of what Hero and, of course, Bam Adebayo have. Again, if the Heat do look like they are actually going to want to go a bit younger, which they haven't done in a minute right now, I do believe they are 
going to keep this pick. And I also believe that they are going to look for not only best available, but positional need to. And I think Isaiah Collier does fit there. Now, interesting thing is he doesn't have a direct comparison so far in the NBA, but it's been said that he has shades of Jamal Murray in terms of his quickness and versatility to score around the basket, being a very shifty, of course, ball handler. Some Jaden Ivey in here as well, again, being a taller guard who can score, but hasn't really been that great as a defender. Again, Ivey is a 6 foot 5 guy who just hasn't worked that well with his defense in the NBA thus far. So I'm guessing Isaiah Collier, that would be his knack on him that where they say he's like, you know, Jaden Ivey. So again, I think his defense could come. I still think Jaden Ivey's defense might come. Like the thing is as well, Isaiah Collier is averaging 16 points per game and four and a half assists. I think he would be cool for the Miami Heat. And I feel like he might work with Tyler Hero. You're probably going to want more of a playmaker in there, but even not with this pick, you're still also you still also might want a scoring guard off the bench, which I don't think they really have. Their bench is going to need a massive overhaul this offseason. That is very, very obvious. And I wouldn't be surprised if drafting a dude like Isaiah Collier is going to be the uh, one of the big steps that they, of course, decide to do. So again, that's why with the 15th overall pick, I've got the Miami Heat selecting Isaiah Collier out of USC. But of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment your thoughts and opinions on this all down below. Where do you guys think Johnny Furphy is, of course, going to end up? Do you guys think the Cavaliers should look at him? What do you guys think about all my other picks? Do you guys all agree with them or not? I'd very much like to know. If, if you don't, Please comment your thoughts and opinions down below. I'd very much like to hear. Again, subscribe to the channel for all those NBA content and NBA news. Subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL slash long channels. Links for them will, of course, be in the description down below. But as I was saying, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.